Inspired by some of the comments and questions I've seen on the forums, as well as questions in the comments area of my YouTube videos, I've decided to do a very simple tutorial today. Now, this particular tutorial is how to create a custom knowledge check without the use of variables, without the use of advanced actions or conditional actions, and certainly there won't be any shared actions in this particular tutorial. And the reason for this is I think a lot of times people jump through hoops to flex their e-learning gymnastic muscles to try and prove that they're capable of doing some amazing complex stuff that's very sophisticated. But I think you can actually do quite a few really interesting things with just using simple navigation. And that's what we're gonna do today. So what I've done is I've set up my first slide here to be, be um, a simple knowledge check question. Uh, this is a three fluid box responsive design layout. There's a fluid box for my title, a fluid box for the question stem, and then a fluid box for the three possible answers to this question. These three possible answers to the question are simply smart shapes that I've checked as uh, use as buttons so that we can click on these and navigate to other slides. On the second slide, uh, just a slightly different arrangement of fluid boxes. We have our title across the top. We have a feedback caption and one of our coaches here uh, giving us um, you know, a positive reinforcement at, at getting the, the answer correct. And then a, a next button, a, a right arrow to act as a next button. And on the third slide, we have, uh, again, the same layout, but this time it's incorrect and try again. And the arrow is pointing in the other direction and centered. And then on the fourth slide, it's just simply a slide to represent the rest of your e-learning project. So let me show you how you can customize this to make it work like a knowledge check. So let's return to slide one here. I'm going to select all of these uh, answers right now and change them from their default on success action to jump to slide. And for right now, we'll choose slide three because that's our incorrect try again message. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the correct answer by itself and just change that to slide two because that's where the correct feedback is gonna be located. So that's pretty much all we need to do to slide one. Let's go to slide two. Now here's where we've received our correct uh, feedback and of course we can continue with the rest of the project. So this right arrow that we see at the bottom of the page, rather than going to the next slide, we're going to jump to our final slide, which again represents the rest of our e-learning project. Now let's go to slide three where we have our incorrect and our try again message. We're gonna select the left arrow in this case here we're going to change that to jump to slide and return the user back to slide one so they can make another attempt. And of course, on the final slide, we could have the right arrow continue with the rest of the project. So that's pretty much it. Again, it's just all achieved through some basic navigation here. Let's test it out and make sure it works okay. So here's our slide one, custom knowledge check. And of course, as you can see, uh, this totally works well with responsive design. We've got uh, some nice rollover effects on these buttons as well. Uh, so starting off, let's get the answer incorrect so we can see what that is like. We'll click on Adobe Captivate 7. And then we're brought to this slide here where we learn that that is not the correct answer. And we can make another attempt by clicking this left arrow here. Uh, so now let's choose the correct answer, which is Adobe Captivate 8. And of course we get the correct feedback and we see Angela giving us a, a positive uh, uh, reaction to let us know we've done a good job. And now we can click the right arrow to go on with the rest of your project. So uh, this particular example is in keeping with the KISS method, which is keep it simple, smart guy. So, <laughs> so hopefully you can take advantage of this if you're not quite ready for uh, variables and advanced actions. Here's a great way that you can add interactivity to your e-learning projects. 
If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.